hydration is very important. Uh, I generally have a two bottle, two liter bottle, I know. Uh, however, I don't drink the full two liters unless the workout is very cardio intensive and I'm sweating a lot. I uh, kind of, because I mean, we'll get into another video on the nutritions and the, you know, um, how you don't want to dilute yourself too much. Uh, can it be salt or roux, minerals or roux, you're losing too. Um, uh, workouts on your clean pan and the head it, it doesn't replenish it. It's another video, right now. Uh, but at least what I do is during your workout, middle one liter is a You don't want to drink too much. If you like a sip, just one two sips in between. Uh, it helps you kind of uh, stay hydrated, right now. So always remember the water, right? Slightly apart from the shoulders. Look at that shoulder on that. Look at the wide. Uh, equal distance ma carry girl. So you move up a little bit to lift it right under the bar. You come up and you push. Up. You don't want to go all the way down. Can I get, it doesn't really affect the shoulders as much. You're just putting more pressure on your joints. Um, and it's it's just unnecessary. It's it's really an, almost an unrealistic movement. So even though we're doing compounds, so let's keep it illegal, right?
slightly, uh, you want to lift with your shoulders, right? Your shoulder blades. So, all the pressure should be on your delts. When you try to release it slowly down rather than just go like this, uh, it helps you kind of activate uh, other muscles, right? Uh, your, your core uh, microfibers uh, that help you balance. Remember, till failure. Don't swing too much. You're kind of cheating. It's not about the weights, it's about how you hit the shoulders, the muscles. 